This is your chance to make your own movie. To skip this demo, press the Skip Demo button. At the top left corner of the screen is the preview window. At any time during the making of your movie, you can view your work in progress in this window by using the Play, Pause, and Rewind buttons. As you preview your movie, a red line in the timeline, located at the bottom of your screen, will scroll to the right and show you what part of the movie you're watching. At the bottom of your screen is the timeline. This is where you'll assemble your movie. Each portion of the timeline represents different movie elements, backgrounds, characters, and sounds. In the middle of the screen is your library. It contains the different elements you can add and combine to create your own spirit movie. At the top right-hand corner is the Director's Tips window. Here you'll find answers to commonly asked questions and tips on how to assemble your movie. Click the Tips button in the upper right corner of this window for help. On the left of the screen are the steps you follow to put together your movie. Each button there corresponds to a different step in the movie-making process. It's simple to do. Dragging and dropping is all you need to do to create your own movie. As you drag and drop different elements from the library onto the timeline, they will snap into place in the appropriate section. Drag and drop them to the left and right to place them in different scenes of your movie. To remove a clip from your movie, simply drag and drop it anywhere off of the timeline. After you finish each step, a Next button in the left navigation prompts you to begin the next step. At any time during the making of your movie, you may return to previous steps and edit your previous selections using the navigation buttons. Opening Scene allows you to create your opening credits and title sequence for your Spirit Mini Movie. Simply click on the title sequence that you'd like to use, then put in your name and the title of your movie. In the background step, you can add pictures, animated backgrounds, or movie clips to your movie. Note that dropping a movie clip into the timeline locks out the characters layer of the timeline. This is because movie clips contain both backgrounds and characters. When you drag a picture or animated background onto the timeline, there's still room in the Characters layer for you to add characters to your scene. You can also import your own pictures for your movie in the Background step. Use the Import button in the middle of the screen and browse your computer to find the picture you want to import. In order for a picture to be imported, it must be a JPEG file type. Imported pictures will appear on the right side of the library in the Pictures section and can be found starting on page 7 of that section. The thumbnails in the Pictures section are in the order Pictures, Animated Backgrounds, Imported Pictures. The color coding on the thumbnails in the Pictures section and on the following Characters section is to help you determine which picture-character combinations go well together. But you're not limited to those combinations. Remember, it's your movie. Be as creative as you want. The Characters step allows you to add your favorite characters from Spirit to your movie. The characters layer is divided into three separate smaller layers. Each one holds one character. You can have up to three characters at a time in any scene of your movie. With sounds, you can bring audio life to your movie. The sounds layer is also divided into three separate layers. Narration, effects, and music. Drag and drop sound effects from the library to the sound effects layer at the bottom of the screen. You can also record your own voice for narration in the movie. Follow the instructions for recording your voice in the sound section. Sounds that you record will appear on the right side of the library in the narration section. To add a musical soundtrack to your mini-movie, choose one of the three available soundtracks in the sounds library or import your favorite song. The soundtrack will play throughout your entire movie. To start a new movie, load a movie, and save a movie, use the buttons underneath the Help window at the top right of your screen. You can save your unfinished movies and return to edit them at any time. When you're done making your movie, you may view it in the Final Movie section. Remember, you can always go back to a previous step to edit your previous selections. From the Final Movie section, you can email your movie to your friends who have the Spirit DVD. One more thing, black gaps in any of the timelines are places where you can add elements to your movie. You don't need to fill in all the gaps to make a movie. After all, that's up to the director. 
And you're the director.